by Elijah A. Teka, published Saturday, June 23, 2018 at 0 hundred, updated June 22, 2018 at 2308 Greenwich Mean Time 3 JKUAT researchers have developed a new high-yielding and drought-resistant cassava. Photo, courtesy, with climate change now becoming the new reality, gone are the days when you could state for sure that a certain crop will thrive in a certain ecological zone, shifting weather patterns, unpredictable water supplies, frequent heat waves and decreasing temperatures make farming look like an expensive gamble. Also read, report, up to 60% of alcohol in Kenya is illicit to survive, there is increased need for farmers to embrace drought-resilient crops. One such crop that can thrive in harsh times is cassava, Manahot escalenta, which is hardy, resistant to drought and high yielding. The beauty of this crop is that other than being a reliable food crop especially in sub-Saharan Africa, it also does well in poor soils and areas of low rainfall. More yield since it is a perennial crop, it can be harvested as and when required. But inasmuch as cassava is considered a hardy crop compared to other cereal crops, the effects climate change such as heat, cold, drought and or flooding are threatening its sustainable cultivation. Avoid fake news. Subscribe to the standard SMS service and receive factual, verified breaking news as it happens. Text the word NEWS to 22840 Such changes not only affect cultivation but also influence disease epidemics and insect vector outbreaks, all which affect cassava production. In East Africa, the main diseases affecting cassava production are cassava mosaic disease, cassava brown streak disease and cassava bacterial blight whereas the main insect pest is the whitefly Bemisha tabachi. As these diseases may cause up to 100% loss in yield, it is necessary to identify and develop new cultivars that are resistant or tolerant. With this harsh and depressing reality, there is need for a super hardy cassava variety that can withstand the emerging harsh and unpredictable weather. Also read, MWA University seeks to create fresh market for cotton farmers. The good news is that researchers countrywide have foreseen this reality and are working round the clock for practical, sober solutions to cushion farmers. Researchers at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JKUAT, Makocheni Agricultural Research Institute, Mari, in Tanzania, in collaboration with Basque Institute for Research and Development in Agriculture, NEIKER, in Spain are in the process of developing cassava cultivars that will be adaptable to the climate change-induced stresses. The aim of the project is to develop valuable cassava varieties that are resistant to diseases and can tolerate different environmental conditions such as heat, cold and drought. It is a collaborative research that supports co-development and technology transfer between the three countries. Going forward, the researchers will evaluate cassava varieties in different environments for drought, heat and cold tolerance to identify varieties which are best adapted for those regions. In Kenya, the project is evaluating over 70 varieties in Kiboko, Alupe and Kisi for desired traits. Identified tolerant varieties will be recommended to farmers for cultivation while the same varieties will be used as parents to breed for varieties with combined traits. Further, laboratory work to identify useful candidate genes in varieties through marker-assisted selection MOS, to increase the accuracy of breeding and shorten the time for our development of improved varieties is going on. The improved varieties will be tested in the different regions to ensure that they are tolerant to cold, heat, diseases and drought. The project is working for farmers to improve cassava yields. Also read, KPMG casts doubt on Cables Maker as its losses widen it is envisaged that the cultivation of adapted genotypes will increase yields, thus contributing to food security, increased incomes for farmers thereby improving the quality of life for small-scale farmers. The project is funded by the Food and Agricultural Organization as part of achieving sustainable development goals of no poverty, zero hunger and climate action. Elijah A. Teka, email protected, is an associate professor in plant virology, Department of Horticulture, Faculty of Agriculture, JKUAT.